The Mafika Lesui Pass is without question one of the most dramatic and beautiful tired passes in all of the Sutu. It was built ahead of the construction of the Katsi Dam to provide an all-weather road suitable for the large trucks carrying fly ash and cement from Fixburg to the Katsi construction site. The road won an International Engineering Award for its design and engineering excellence. The statistics of this pass are impressive. Firstly, it's very long at 26,2 kilometers with a summit height of 3,096 meters and an altitude variance of 1,104 meters. It snows regularly on the pass, making it dangerous for non-four-wheel drive vehicles. Black ice occurs on the pass too, rendering a dangerous situation even for four-wheel drive vehicles. The scenery here is breathtaking, especially on the western side, offering a smorgasbord of deep valleys, gullies, waterfalls and burbling streams, and in winter it's a snowy wonderland. The pass connects Slotsi and Pitsing in the west with Halajoni in the east. Allow an hour to drive the route and more if you want to stop for photos. There's a large, safe and well-constructed viewing point at the summit with magnificent views down the valley to the west as well as the famous built-up hairpin near the summit point. To approach from the west as we have filmed it, take the A25 from Schlotzi and head southwest for 30 kilometers until you get to Pitsing. Drive through Pitsing, remaining on the A25 for a further 12 kilometers to arrive at the western start of the pass. The pass starts at an altitude of 1,192 meters at the crossing of a stream and begins climbing gradually at first, a sort of prelude to soften you up gently for what awaits, a relentless climb of 1,102 meters. The further you go, the steeper the gradients will get until they peak at 1 in 6 near the summit. There are more than 120 bends, corners and curves along the length of the pass with one spectacularly tight hairpin and many more with easier turning radii. There are no barrier lines on the road other than a dotted white line indicating the center line of the roadway. So it's basically a free for all in terms of overtaking. In good weather, one can see quite far ahead and make sensible decisions in terms of overtaking slower vehicles. The vast majority of vehicles drive the pass quite slowly by necessity, so there's usually time to act to avoid a dangerous situation. Near the start of the pass, there's a Lesotho Police Man Control Point where you might be asked to produce your documentation. If conditions become too dangerous on the pass, the boom will be closed and traffic will not be allowed up. The scenery is indescribably beautiful, with every corner revealing a new vista of waterfalls and rapids as dozens of small streams all flow down towards the main river, which is the Mpoosong River. Ahead the mountains tower into the skyline, dominating the view as the road can be seen snaking its way ever upwards. There are several viewpoints big enough for a few vehicles where it's safe to pull off. Don't be surprised if you hear bells ringing. Those are tied around sheep and goats necks so the shepherds can keep track of them. The 
air along the upper reaches of the pass is quite rarefied and most vehicles will experience a loss of power. When we filmed the pass in 2023, even the MPSA Land Cruiser with its 4.5 litre petrol engine, we had to change down to first gear a couple of times, but mostly we had to stay in second. Be sure to watch part two of the Mafika Lesui Pass.